Hello everybody. In this session, I'm going to talk about RISC 532i base instruction set. If you haven't watched the video about the modularity of RISC 5 ISA, I recommend you to watch the suggested video here. Now let's get started. So the RISC 532i base instruction set has six categories of instructions as put here. Uh, but for this session, the scope is only going to be about load and store instructions. These are the load and store instructions we are going to see in this session. So I have grouped this instructions into three groups, as you can see, color differently. So the last three instructions in gray are the store instructions. And these are the instructions that store a value from register into the memory. And these five instructions are the load instructions, which loads a value from memory into a register. And this one, the one in yellow, though it is called as a load upper immediate, it does not load any value from memory into the register, but it just loads an uh, immediate value into the register. So we will see more about this soon. Before we get into the instructions, we should know the register file in RV32i core. So as per the RISC-V spec, RV32i core should have 33 registers, out of which one is a program counter, okay, and the rest 32 are uh, general purpose registers. But among this 32 general purpose registers, one general purpose register is hardwired to zero. That means uh, you cannot write anything into that, and whenever you read, you just get zero. You cannot overwrite that. And all these registers are 32 bit wide. Let's see the first instruction, which is load upper immediate. As I said before, this load upper immediate does not load any value from the memory into the register. Instead, it just uh, loads a 20-bit immediate value given as part of the instruction into the destination register. So this is the syntax, which is like LUI, destination register, comma, followed by a 20-bit value. So if you give a value which is greater than 20 bits, then the assembler should throw you an error that the value is large. And uh, if you give exactly a 20 bits value, then those 20 bits will be copied into the upper 20 bits of the destination register and the lower 12 bits would be zero filled. And if you give a value which is less than 20 bits, let's say that you just give a four bit value, four bits value, then those four bits will be copied into the most significant four bits and rest all would be zero filled. So for example, this is a valid LUI instruction. And what this would do is, uh, let's say four, eight, 12, 16. So this is exactly 20 bits. So this 20 bits would be copied into the upper uh, 20 bits of destination register, which is X2 here. And the lower 12 bits are zero filled. So X2 becomes 0x8000 zero 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 followed by four zeros. The load word instruction loads a word which is 32 bits from memory into the destination register. So this is the syntax for load word. So load word, destination register, offset, and a base value in the register. So the address from which this instruction has to fetch the word is calculated by the sum of the offset and the value in the register. Okay, so let's see an example. So this is a sample instruction. It says load word x3 register and the offset value is 4 and the base value is given in the x2 register. So let's see what is the value in the x2 register. So the x2 register has this value in it okay so the memory address from where this instruction has to fetch a word is the sum of this plus the offset which is 4 so the memory address becomes 8000 followed by 0004 okay so this is the address this instruction has to fetch a word so word is again 32 bit so the 32 bit bits from this memory address should be fetched into this x3 register which is the destination register 
load half word instructions are similar to the load word instruction except that uh, it operates on half word which is 2 bytes or 16 bits so it loads a half word or 16 bits from the memory into the destination register okay so the syntax is almost same as the load word except that instead of w you will use a uh, h for half word and h u for half word unsigned so i'm not going to get into this uh, memory address calculation again because we already covered in the previous slide so let's take an example here so lh is a uh, load half word into the destination register x3 with the offset value of 4 and the base address in x2 so the sum of this base address plus the offset will give us the uh, source memory address as this and from this source uh, memory address uh, 2 byte or 16 bits value has to be fetched and stored into this destination register which is x3 but if you pay attention to this uh, memory address here i have marked it as a uh, 2 byte addressable so in risk 532 i uh, code the memory should be a byte addressable or the memory is byte addressable that means uh, you can read and write into a, as a byte or 2 bytes or 4 bytes okay so since uh, these instructions operate on half word which is 2 bytes so they they operate on the 2 byte addressable memory okay so now this 16 bits from this address has to be copied into the 32 bit destination register so the 16 bits are copied into the lower 16 bits of the destination register and the upper 16 bits are either sign extended in lh or it will it can be zero filled in lhu so that's the reason of this two variants. So this LH unsigned means the irrespective of the sign of the lower 16, it will always be zero filled. Whereas in the LH, the sign is preserved. And so based on the most significant bit of the lower half, the sign is extended into the upper half of the register. So we have come to the last instruction of the load instructions, which is load byte. So similar to load word and load half word which we saw before this load byte instruction loads a byte from the memory address into the destination register. So the syntax is almost same. So LB stands for load byte and uh, LBU stands for load byte unsigned. And uh, so let's see an example. Okay, so X2 holds the same value as before. So and the offset value is also same. So from this a memory location a byte has to be fetched into this destination register but if you see here for this load byte instruction i have marked the memory as byte addressable and each memory location holds a byte that's because this is a this because this instruction operates on a byte so again when it copies into the destination register uh, based on the uh, sign bit of the lowest byte the upper bits are extended okay so in the lbu irrespective of the sign sign bit the upper bits are zero filled whereas in the lb uh, based on the most significant bit of the lowest byte the upper bits are either one extended or zero extended so now we have come into the uh, store instructions so there are three a store instruction similar to the load so store byte store half word and store word but if you observe there is no shu and sbu the reason is when you store you don't have to you don't have to sign extend or zero fill because when you yes byte will write the byte into the byte addressable memory as you see here and yes h stores a value into the uh, two byte addressable memory as you see here and sw stores a word which is 32 bits it writes a four byte value as shown here okay so store instructions it just stores a byte or word or half word from the uh, register into the destination memory address okay so the memory address is calculated uh, the same way as we saw in the load instruction